up to uh, Toronto, big city. Yeah. I'll to uh, I'll be there in like three and a half hours. To end Bizzle Sandler's house. This is speed in the Hamptons. High class, man. Where do you park your Mercedes? <laughs> Out back. Could you describe in 10 words or less something about Ozone Crutch? It's Ozone Crutch, by the way, and sure. Let's see. Ozone Crutch, colon, primitive, comma, loud, comma, soft, comma, louder. Uh, tough, uh, oh off the cuff, um, powerful. Uh, weird, uh, <laughs> stressful. If you could describe ozone crutch's sound, what would it, what would it be? <clears throat> Not very well rounded. Like pure shit, but in a good way. What do you what do you mean by that exactly? You know, like when you take a big shit and you're really proud of it, it's kind of like that. Like I said, ozone crutch is a state of mind. Enough said. Worst thing ever. That's it. Yeah. Uh, tribal, like African tribal, or like Polynesian tribal. Like those those people that make their necks really long? Yeah, those people, they, they people like that. that. Angry with a, a splash of envy. Are you envious of their talents or like the things they say or? Uh, I think I'm just envious of their lifestyle. Which is? Hate and... Laziness. <laughs> Ozone Crutch, man. Long awaited second demo. So, how do you feel about this upcoming album? I don't know, man. We have absolutely nothing prepared. No songs. All we have are lyrics. And I have a few drum beats in my head. I don't know what Mike's been up to, but. <laughs> And then one of your classic fills. These drum beats that you have, is this is it easier to make in your head because of all your experience as a drummer? Yes, actually, uh, well no, because I kinda don't even really know how to play the drums. Dude, that's classic, man. <laughs> that's like fucking Neil Peart or something, man. You practicing? I think you need, need more drums, man. I don't have enough. You don't have enough. I, don't I wish I had like two more rides. Craig was uh, mentioning earlier about their impeccable timing. Of, uh, yeah, you can hear right now on this take right now. Wow. That's like... That's that like, was on the click track without even running a click track. It was just like perfectly on the grid. Wow. That's a good drum take. Who do you think so we is call the biz a hot drum take? <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that uh, um, the drumming is more like <laughs> more like Neil Peart or uh, Jimmy Chamberlain? Uh, both those guys are pretty similar, so I don't think it's like either of those. <laughs> <laughs> We think of Phil Wilson, the, uh, the engineer they sought out. He's one fantastic motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good producer. He's a good, uh, good engineer. He seems to know how to use the fire pot real well. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at He moves that one knob all the time. I hate going outside, man. I hate the outside world. <laughs> if I be chosen, you know. I like sitting right here working on music until my fucking brain explodes. That's when you know you, you made it, you know? So the the name Ozone Crutch. Yes, yes. Point you talk name. a little Point bit, it is that. quite a name. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I'd like to, but I'd totally be fucking bullshitting because I have no idea where it came from. You're going to have to uh, confer with Mike Bizzle Thumbs on that one. The inspiration and 51% owner of Ozone Crutch, by the way. Which has come back to haunt me a few times, let me tell you, that 1%. Yeah. Fucking sucks, yeah. Just that's Kieran's thing. He's like 49% 40, of... Yeah, he doesn't matter, because you're 51%. I mean, 
I don't want to make him think that it matters, so I'll help him out until a certain point when I realize that I can make like a lot more money. I mean, two percent of a lot more money is is a lot more money. Because uh, he owns fifty one percent. He owns fifty one percent. He's a perfectionist. And also, oh yeah. So I'm gonna make what I think is gonna be a commercial success for myself. I think you're right. Whatever Mike says, you know, I got 49 percent, so ownership. So it doesn't really matter what I think. Mike Cinema, I own 51 uh, percent of Ozone Crutch. Legally, I'm not allowed to answer that. Okay. What are your thoughts about Mike Cinema, the majority owner? And uh, I think it's fucking bullshit that he owns 51 percent. Brzezinski. Oh, your ref sheet. Oh, dude, don't forget anything. And then the chorus is, Oh no, shit! Give me something that I can't admit. <laughs> You could bottle your sweat and put name it ozone crutch. Yeah. You think people would buy it? Yeah, I think that a lot of people would buy it. Yeah. Would people actually, <laughs> people actually wear it? You think? I think they'd wear it only you know if they're going to work and stuff. If yeah. they want to succeed. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. A working, I wouldn't, a it's working, not really like, like you wouldn't wear it to the it's club. It's like a working clone. You wouldn't wear it to the club, but maybe to work to like to the job site. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're working at a construction site or something, you know what I mean? Wearing your sweat. It's sweat for like the worker, you know? Yeah. The like working the, class. The working class sweat. Yeah. That's what I would call it, working class sweat. <laughs> so in this uh, ever-changing uh, musical climate? landscape and climate, if you want to call it, uh, how do you feel uh, about uh, fucking spit it out, man? Music, <laughs> music duos these days. How do you duos. feel about that happening? You think uh, that's another good question? I know what you're getting at. It. Are we oversaturating the market? Are you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like a completely new new sound. <laughs> it's such a unique sound. I think it's going to influence other bands, not the other way around. What's your fascination with Neil Young? Oh, he's just a Canadian legend, you know, likes hockey. Uh, <laughs> Makes sense. You think you guys are going to be able to pull it off? That's a pretty uh, tough, tough yeah, act to follow. Yeah, I don't want to in insult him in any way, you know. Sex over sex is a beast with a bow! Summer relaxes and waste between shows! Sam and go! How does it feel to step into Neil Young's shoes? Well, it's more like this drummer, and I don't know, it's the guy from Crazy Train or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from Soul Train. You know, uh, crazy horses, I believe. Wild horses. Crazy. Neil Young and the. Crazy stallions. Crazy horse. Fast. What is it? Neil fast, Young and the. And the quick Broncos. <laughs> the Bucket Broncos. Yeah, the Bucket Broncos. Is that the Ozzy Osbournes? <laughs> what, is, what is it though? Yeah, Neil Young and Crazy Horse? I think so. Mike, what is it? Neil Young and Crazy Horse? What? Can you tell uh, us a little bit about maybe some of your inspirations that you have? Inspirations, let me see. Well, let's see, cavemen. I have to throw them in there. 
without them I would have no style or my whole entire repertoire would be non-existent. Uh, probably bands like uh, Olympia and uh, Ozzy Osbourne. There's a lot of, uh, there's like a Perry Mason-esque feel to uh, be the hate. Uh, a little bit of life, a little bit of Sepultura, a little bit of uh, like some hard edge punk music, maybe some Motorhead, yeah. maybe some, uh, some Nirvana, maybe some Melvins, maybe some... Uh, I'm, I heard miss, you're I'm missing a, a key, key band yeah. here. Uh, I can't think who it would be. Less than useful. Idol core. Uh, what was that? That one guy, Jacques. Yeah. No, 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 never. Didn't meet him till I was about twenty-one. Okay, so, so yeah, that, that's that was that, past high school. I'll just yeah. not yeah. include that in there. No, Craig was uh, completely off. He's just. He's I always like, really like that name. Yeah. So. He's like a bit of everybody. It's a solid name. Yeah, exactly. Steve, who? Steve is whoever you want him to be, you know, he's like fictional, non-fictional, hero, antichrist, whatever, you know what I mean? You can do whatever you want. He's pretty much, you know, just an everyday guy. Does he somehow reflect on yourself in some way? Um, I wouldn't mind having a workshop one day. Do not enter Steve's workshop. Do not leave Steve's workshop. So what's, what's the significance <laughs> of Steve's workshop? What is I've that? I've never though? seen this. You wrote it. Before. I think it's amazing, and I stand behind it. <laughs>
that part over. It's a, so you feel like you did it. Yeah.